player, a champion coach. He's a football legend. Give it up for Kevin Cheney. <laughs> Welcome, Kev, and uh, some great old footage there of watching you in your younger day. Uh, that's a different person. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was Sheedy. I, I don't know him at all. It's a long time ago now, Kev, but Certainly always was. great to have you on the show. And uh, I suppose the first question is, what are you up to these days? Could you stop coaching GWS? What do you get, what do you get up to? No, I'm still with the Giants, working yep. in the corporate ops area and um, also our academy. So... Uh, do a, a fair bit of work for the AFL and um, was up at Coffs Harbour with the boys. Uh, it was pretty good, pretty exciting. 400, 400 young players playing and uh, and uh, what do you think of that carnival? Pretty good? Yeah, it was a good, great carnival. <laughs> <laughs> Super. <laughs> Kev, can I just ask you, uh, Kev, can I... What's going on? <laughs> Kev, can I just ask you on, on yeah, that, your That's thoughts? it, OK, right. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Oh. Kev, can I just ask you uh, your thoughts so far on GWS as, as a football <clears> club and the development and all that? Well, look, I think they are uh, been pretty exciting, much better uh, this year, obviously. Um, I think that uh, we've had two wins. Uh, we've been very competitive in two other games. Uh, played a poor last quarter last game. Um, but I think we're probably 10 goal better side this year. I've got no doubt about that. I mean, last year Adelaide beat us by 20 goals. Uh, this year they beat us by 10. Uh, we've won our two, won our two games in Sydney, which is terrific. Our next game's going to come up against Richmond, so in a, in a few weeks' time. So um, you know, we've got to actually win that Sydney market over, which has been really the Swans, you know, obviously all the time. And I think winning that first game uh, on that St Patrick's Day weekend just just changed the la landscape a little bit in Sydney. I think a lot of people in Sydney thought, wow, that, that, that was a pretty decent win from um, a club that had only played 44 games at that stage. Yeah, yeah, good win. Can, can I just ask you about Essendon and the fiasco that happened there last year? And, and I don't want to go right into the details, but was you a bit worried about the legacy that you had left behind and also one of your, your favourite sons, James Hearn, involved in Broiled and all that? Yeah. drama that was happening out there. Just quickly, what was your, your, your thoughts on it all? Well, it, it's quite amazing, really. Um, we still don't know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I think that's been disappointing from that point of view. Yeah. Um, I only would like to know what was in any needle. No one still knows that. Yeah. Will we yeah. ever know, Ken? Oh, yeah, we, look, probably not. Probably not. No. Mm. And that's, that's the ridiculous part of it. I think the, I've got no doubt that James hurd has been very hurt over it. Uh, because as a head coach, uh, you're always going to get a hit over the head over something like that. I just felt, probably if I look back, I think his staff let him down, and I've got no doubt about that. Mm. Uh, because, you know, when you're a head coach, you, you've got that much going on your plate that I think in the end, um, you can't know everything that's going on in a footy club, even though everybody thinks you should know. Mm. And it's sort of like, um, it's like running government. Not every person really understands that the Prime Minister would not know every single thing that's going on in the country. It's just too hard. So in a, in a situation like James Hurd and, uh, and the club, I mean, really, uh, you know, they got $2 million fine, a lot of money, a lot of uh, fans' money, and, um, and Melbourne asked for $2 million, so maybe yes, and this gave Melbourne $2 million. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be a very interesting game when it comes up in Melbourne. You're on, Bob. Yeah. Okay, you ready yeah. to go now? Yeah. <laughs>